Hello everybody, Sir Roz here, and welcome to game three of this best of three between Liquid Tyler and Root Druby. Uh, well, I guess, you know, if it's a game three of a best of three, both players do have one win. I'd say it's a spoiler alert, but I already spoiled it for anyone who's using their noggin. And this is basically what's going on. Liquid Tyler, game one, did the three gate into Colossus build. Crushed Druby. Druby did not tech fast enough. Game two, Druby teched a little bit faster. Got out some Vikings in time to deal with that same push. It had the exact same timing. So that same push, had the Vikings out, rolled over Liquid Tyler. So I'm really curious to see if either player will change their sort of plan this game or if once again they'll both go for the same sort of plan and just hope they can execute it a little bit better than their opponent so we do have an 11 gate going down that's actually quite early maybe we will see some sort of early aggression coming out um, from Tyler what do we got going up here yeah just standard Terran play like I said before I really don't like the fact that they made it that you can't build up barracks before supply depot it just makes it so I don't know very boring Terran openings everybody just does this sort of 12 racks 13 refinery um, 15 orbital command sort of garbage business it's not really garbage it's a super solid build you know I a lot of players say or watchers I guess I should say I assume they all play the game like, hey, I want to see the production tab. So, uh, put up the production tab. Yeah, like I said, nothing too crazy. I mean, the openings are very limited in this matchup, in my opinion. Just due to the fact that, I don't know, Marines can kind of own Zealots if you control them well. And so you can't, you don't really want a Zealot rush. And also there's the whole wall-off thing going on if the Terran wants. It's just, you don't really have the option of putting on any early pressure, in my opinion. It's just not viable. And uh, that always leads to this very, very fast stalker play from Protoss players. And it's just, you know, the most uh, simple thing in the world. And... Yeah, uh, Druby just doing the same sort of build once again, doing this two racks into an expansion, I think is what we're going to see. And no surprise there. It's a really solid build. I actually really like this. If I played Terran, I'd probably copy it and try and open the same way. Um, the whole idea here is that he gets this one barracks to get out Marauders and that concussive shell upgrade, and then going to go for Stim after that's finished researching. Then he gets a second barracks with that reactor to get out a bunch of marines and really a barracks with reactor is like two barracks so this is kind of like a three barracks opening but it's a little bit cheaper and i mean it just makes makes a lot of sense in my opinion and you save like you know it costs you a little more gas right but you save a lot oh and what's going on here it looks like some stalkers might get taken out tyler trying to scout with these but Concussive shells just destroying that stalker. Well, allowing the Marauders and Marines to destroy that stalker. So, free stalker never hurts. And is this SCV actually going to get in here? Yes, it is. So, it's going to see this four gate opening. And I'd have to think Druby will be ready to deal with this. We'll probably see another Rax going down right now. Huh, interesting instead. Just choosing to go for a bunker. And maybe he'll just continue on with his plan. He'll probably just build the command center right here. And hold with this bunker. I guess. Why not? I would have thought he'd be worried about... Um, you know, worried about taking that expansion. I guess he hasn't you know, taken it yet. So Maybe he is delaying a little bit. And Tyler, being the great player, is saying, Well, you saw my four gates, so you know what I'm going to do? Expand. <laughs> the exact opposite of what you expect. Oh, but... Oh, so very, very nice scout here. Um, that little SCV poking in and actually seeing that expansion. So now, Drewby in turn knows he is fine to expand. 
and you know he just salvaged that bunker he's good to go he knows this puts down that expansion and just gonna say hey business as usual go on with my plan everything will work out fine and the thing is you know he knows that Tyler did waste that 400 minerals on this Nexus well not waste um, but he did use the 400 minerals on this Nexus so he knows the four gate will be a lot less strong than it could be. I mean, 400 minerals is four more zealots. I mean, think about that. That's that's quite a pretty large difference in an army force. So, you know, he's going to feel very confident uh, with this expansion, even going to try and poke out here. And we will have to see. Um, oh, God. so he's just getting ready to take uh, this gold extension. You know, I wonder if he'll take that first. No, no, I guess not. Looks like he's just preparing for later on in the game. And, you know, why not? You have these units, why not use them to kill rocks and stuff? Nothing, uh, nothing crazy about that. Continue to get these upgrades. Stim is done, so we do have combat shields on the way. And, whoa! So, very, very fast third. So he took this um, expansion at like, he probably started building at like 40 food. He started building this one at 60. So that's a very fast third here. And we'll have to see if he can defend it. I'd like to actually see maybe some bunkers down or something. Ah, it'd be just such a shame. Uh, if this got taken out and Tyler does he know about this no okay. idea but he is gonna move out and we are gonna see a big battle going down <clears throat> stimming up some nice force fields going to stop that aggression and some free units there once again for Drooby looking at the units lost tab yeah definitely ahead in that though not that much and also I guess you have to consider that it did cost him the stim so all of his units are quite a bit weaker now but Still, no idea about that expansion, and that is crucial. Absolutely crucial. And my phone is ringing, son of a bitch. Hold on, there we go. Turn that off. We'll go uh, give him a call a little bit later. And where was I? I don't know, something about this expansion. I really like uh, the Planetary Fortress going up. And that'll really allow Drooby to hold it, uh, if this gets out quite well. Oh no, but it's not quite done. This is really going to hurt. Needs to finish it, needs to start repairing it. And there we go, it is up. And I do not think we are going to see an attack coming up from Tyler here. I mean, that Planetary Fortress is just so good against ground units. It could kill probably this entire forest if... Uh, if we did see some repair action but it looks like instead Tyler just gonna say alright I'll just go the other way to your main I'm just not gonna play with your planetary fortress and really put some aggression on and we'll have to see if this attack does work looks like he is up to six gates at this point so quite strong attack also has another pilot in position even getting some nice force fields off going to pick off some units here for whatever reason though, choosing to back up, I don't think he wants to get very close to that planetary fortress at all. And are we going to see an attack right into the main of Groovy? No! Looks like he's not going to do that, going to try and take all that expansion instead. I was thinking maybe he'd, you know, run up the ramp and force field and try and take care of it, but instead he's just going to force field the ramp and try and take out this expansion. And he is going to get it, I think. Some more nice force fields trapping some marines and marauders. Drooby being forced to pull all of his SCVs to defend against this. Will he be able to fend this off? I don't know. It's He has a lot of units left, but they're all really, really low. And some nice force fields there really blocking off a lot of these uh, Marines and Marauders. And Liquid Tyler's force is looking very strong here. I mean, all these units are in the red. This expansion is going to go down. This is not looking good for Drooby at all. Looking at the income tab, 11 workers to 37. So, Drooby back against the wall, going to have to pull a miracle out here. I mean, he basically has to have, you know, 
He's got to kill this force, is what it comes down to. Tyler, is he going to try for the Planetary Fortress? Okay, he's killing workers first, which is what he needs to do, otherwise he'll never kill the Planetary Fortress. And they are ridiculous when being repaired. Looks like he is just going to back off. I mean, Planetary Fortress just do so much damage, it's unbelievable. But, even more workers are down. And the longer this drags on, the larger an advantage we are going to see from Liquid Tyler. He has uh, 37 workers, so he can continue to produce while at the same time, Drewby really does not have any workers at all. And this is probably going to be the final battle. Doing some nice control here, some nice stim kiting, but I don't think it's going to be enough. That's a lot of stalkers there. And Drewby even losing more units, more workers, down to 9. Tyler moving in, and there is the GG. Liquid Tyler does win this best of three against Rude Drewby. And in a really nice, nice fashion, uh, realizing he needed to change up his play, kind of change his timing a little bit. Um, basically what he said was, all right, last game my opponent got, you know, teched a little faster than he'd be used to or really want to. So he got Vikings, you know, at about this time when I moved up. So instead, I'm going to attack a little bit earlier than that and kind of make him pay for his tech. And I think that's what he was thinking with his six-gate um, six attack here. And he also just very nice play by just saying, all right, I'm not going to beat my head against the wall in this planetary fortress. I'll just go around you and force your army to fight me anyways. And worked out really well for Liquid Tyler. So like I said, he is the winner. <clears throat> and I hope you guys did enjoy this series, so I'll see y'all later.